What's good everybody, welcome back to a new video. Trippy Red recently posted a lot of snippets on his Instagram and one of those snippets inspired me to make a melody just very soulful and emotional and we will break down this melody in a couple of seconds and in the following I will put some drums on top of it and show you the process as well. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you like the content you can also leave a like on the video, it supports my channel a lot. And if you want to, you can also check out my social media accounts which is Ringofo on Twitter and Instagram. I wish you a lot of fun with this video. Let's get it. Let's preview the melody first. Let's start with the first component, which is a piano, and it plays a really simple progression. So let's listen what it sounds like. I did something pretty simple, which is nothing crazy, but adds a whole different character to the melody, which is inverting these two chords by bringing the top note down one octave. And if you add the root notes of the chords and the bass, you get a more unique character for these chords. I added an RC20, we got the tape simulation and an EQ where nothing happens. Are you stupid or something? The second element of the melody is a bass. It's pretty simple, I need nothing to explain on this one because it simply follows the root notes of the piano. Let's move on to the next sound, which is a vocal. And I wanted to put in something which is pretty similar to the snippet on Instagram where you can hear a vocal at the beginning with a delay effect on it. Let's listen what it sounds like real quick so you can get an idea what I'm talking about. And in context with the chords, it sounds like this. The next element that I brought in is something that I used a lot in my recent videos, which is the Juno shot. And I use it pretty much as a background texture. Then I brought in another texture element, which is an ARP. As you can see, pretty simple, plays a simple note. If you just listen to it on its own, it doesn't make sense at all. But in the context with everything else, it fits in perfectly. Then we got the second vocal, which pretty much adds more ambience to the melody and leads up to the second half where the chorus are playing again. So we got the tension build up and then it drops again and it fits perfectly in the context of the melody as well. Then I moved on and grabbed this baby right here. And since I'm far away from being a decent guitar player, I had to play something simple, but I wanted something that I can put on top. I came up with this melody. And as the last component, I reversed the guitar and chopped it up and took some parts out of it to come up with this. Let's move on, grab that, put some cool drums on top of it.
it again for the video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. I hope you all learned something. I hope I could inspire you. If you enjoy watching, don't forget to hit that like button. It supports my channel a lot. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. I wish everybody a wonderful rest of the day and I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.